<laughs> we only met and you're about a year ago. Right you're no. living with your girlfriend. No, she has an apartment across town. And I live with two flatmates. Well, I guess just one now. The other's gone home for a few months. And what about you? Hmm, I'm still single, and uh, I actually got a got a friend, and and she's from Europe. I, I don't want to mention the country for some reason. She's okay. from Europe, and I live in Bangladesh. And I actually uh, I'm in love with her, but the problem is she's she's got a boyfriend. Hmm. So I really can do anything, you know. I, if if she didn't have any boyfriend, she if she actually agreed that she loves me, but she's got a boyfriend. So if she doesn't have have any boyfriend, then I could move to her country to marry her because I truly love her. Mm -hmm. It's difficult sometimes with you know distance and point, countries and yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, at some point, I mean, when you see someone and you know, you start feeling like he or she is the man or boy or girl you were looking forever and ever, and you found her, it's like a sudden emotion that's gonna uh, reacting in your mind. It, it, it's something happened uh, with me uh, when I saw that girl and started talking to that girl. Not just because she's beautiful, not just because uh, uh, she's a smart, intelligent, or whatever. For some reason, I start feeling her from the deep inside of my yeah. heart. That could be the reason. So, yeah. I just have a passion for her. I just yeah. love her okay. unconditionally without attachment. That's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, welcome, welcome to class. To class. <laughs> Thank you. And um, let's let's meet the other students. Cami, welcome. How are you? I'm I'm okay, but I can't. Uh, it it seems like uh, the computer freezes or something. Yeah, I, I'm having computer troubles also, and I don't even have. There's usually a link I use that I like to post to the. Um, Google troubleshooting page. I don't have that right now. I'll try just to restart um, to the computer. Okay. Um, good luck getting back in. All right, then, Frank. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. I'm doing well. Not bad. And uh, we we had uh, a bit snow last night, but. It is mm -hmm. not very cold. Okay. We um, we are having a bit of snow right now, and it is very cold. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, we are waiting for more snow in the uh, next days. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we are, too. I heard on the radio this morning, uh, my German's gotten good enough that I can tell what topic they're talking about, if it's news, if it's weather. And they said minus eight, <laughs> and I might have said Shiza. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yesterday, I I went to the movie theater, and uh, we watched an interesting uh, uh, movie, the new Anne Lee's movie, Story of P. Hmm. I don't know it. Oh, interesting. Not common plot. Yeah. Yes. Original. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, well, always good to see you. And is it Hosine? Hosine? Um, Lau. Hosine Lau? All right, or um, Litim. Litim? Litim? Hello, teacher. Hey, what is your name? Uh, Litim Khalil. Litim. Can I call you Litim? It's okay. Okay. I, I know it's you? not quite right. I'm good. How are you? Fine, thanks. What about you? 
Ah, it's always a little better when you have your, your coffee. It's, yes, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Algeria. All right. Interesting. How are, how is the weather in Algeria today? It's sunny but uh, very cold. Mhm. Mm <laughs> it's 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 nice for some sun. Yes. You know, it's a little brighter. That's what I like about the snow. When it rains, everything is wet and dark, but the snow is so bright and cheerful almost. All right, cool. And Mostafa, how are you today? Welcome. Mostafa, can you hear me? Welcome. Ah, welcome to the class. Job. I'm good. How are you? Thank you. I'm good, fine. good. Where are you from? I'm from Egypt. 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 How, how are things in Egypt today? Uh, how is the weather? Is, how how is the weather today? It is cold. Mm. I think it's cold everywhere, isn't it? Are you there? You you're coming in and out a little. Um problem. Yeah, I um I think it's just a bad day for connections, isn't it? But we're glad you're here. And um Sofian. Hello. Hey, what is your name? Sofian. Sofian. Okay. And okay. Where are you from? From Algeria. Algeria? Yes. Algeria party today. <laughs> um, nice. So is it sunny where you are also? It, yes, it is. Cheers, that's nice. <laughs> it's, it's, um, I mean, the snow is nice, but I, I prefer sun. <laughs> Me too. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome. Glad everyone's here. And um, let me get started with the usual announcements. Um, what do I want to do? Here it is. Well, I'm trying to pull up the screen share so I can show you guys the, um... Oh dear, if screen share doesn't work today, I'm in trouble. Okay, well, um, everyone knows, um, please mute yourself when you are not talking. Um, this will keep the hangout a lot quieter, a lot less background noise. If you look in the, the corner here, there's a, a button that looks like a microphone. And that will mute you. Um, also, please use the blue chat today because my Colingo chat is not working. And my apologies to the people outside the hangout. Um, I'm, I'm just having some technical problems today. And the, the blue icon, right? She talked. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You One see, it's, in America. Um, in America, it's a couple different times. Here in Berlin, it's about ten minutes after eleven. One minute and, um, after eleven. Eleven. It's eleven twelve actually. What time is it in China? It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, six o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, six p.m. Yes. 
All right. Welcome. Um, and and remind me, Xinwei, what part of China are you in? I live in I live in the west south of China. Southwest. In the southwest of China. Okay, which province? Sichuan province. Do you know Sichuan province? Yeah. I have never been there, but the capital is Chengdu, right? Oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Do you know it's, it's where the uh, I have never been, but it's where the good food comes from. <laughs> Welcome to Chengdu. Ah, thank you, thank you. I invite you to have a hot pot. Do you know hot, hot, hot pot? It is the right time of year for hot pot, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> All right. Um, so we are talking about rooms today. What part of the house are you in? Um, so... And I don't think my screen share is working. Well, let's talk about what room I'm in right now. What room do you think I am in? Living room. Uh, it's it's it can be a living room. What is a living room usually? I guess. A room where, for example, you can watch the TV when you have your books, and uh, but uh, not uh, when uh, you eat or cook. Right. Not good for cooking. Not good for sleeping. <laughs> just, just for living, for relaxing. And yeah. sometimes we use this as a living room. Sir, uh, yes, sir. I what think uh, you stay in the living room because mm -hmm. there are a lot of books in the behind of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is um, you could call it a library, right? Because there are a lot of books. Right? You are a good teacher. You love books. You have a lot of knowledge. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, these are my flatmate's books. She has a lot of knowledge. <laughs> um, I have about five books. Um, <laughs> five books. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you can see, you can also see by the window her desk. Oh. So you oh. can see all the, the work she can do here. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, so, what room do you sleep in? Bedroom. Bedroom. Mm -hmm. Bedroom. Bedroom. Yeah. Because the the place you sleep is your bed, so the room with a bed is a bedroom, right? Yes. Yes. This is the easy part of English. <laughs> I what? often lie on the bed and read the book. Mm -hmm. Yes. I because often sleep. It's cold outside. Yeah. yeah. A warm bed is really nice when it is cold. Um I confirm. <laughs> what about the room with the shower? Bathroom. Bathroom. Mm -hmm. Bathroom. Yeah. So, what is the difference between a shower and a bath? 
a bus, you I can have, have a bus in a in a bus stop. <laughs> bus stop. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the shower, yeah. shower is uh, when you stay under the falling water. <laughs> exactly. So the shower has the water coming down on your head, and you clean yourself. The bath has some warm water, maybe some bubbles, and you clean yourself by sitting in clean water. And what is the other thing we often find in the bathroom? This is a place where many of us sit or squat. There is a toilet in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, toilet with a T. Toilet, yes. And so sometimes we call the bathroom the toilet. Or if you're British, you can call it the WC, which stands for water closet. And uh, we wash our clothes with a wash with a wash machine. Yes, washing machine in the laundry room. Yes, sir. Can uh, we call it a restroom? Restroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get food yes. in the get food in the restroom. I'm sorry? I'm sorry? Some towels in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Some towels, yeah. Towels for cleaning your, or drying yourself. Uh, use toilet A or water closet. Is the spelling of closet right that I typed here? Closet. Yes. yes. And normally a closet is like this where you keep your clothes. That is my flatmate's closet, so I will not open it today. <laughs> um, so the water closet is the small room like this, where you keep the water. Okay. And what about the laundry room? Uh, what was the laundry room? Laundry room. This is where you clean the clothes. So. Clean clothes. Mm -hmm. In the laundry room, there is yeah. a wash machine. There is a wash machine. Exactly. And the washing machine is in the laundry room. Yeah. Washing machine. Mm hmm. Ah. Yep. And. There's one more important room. This might be my favorite room. It's the kitchen, the kitchen. right? Mm -hmm. the kitchen. What's in the kitchen? There are many tools which you <laughs> can cook food. Mm -hmm. The fridge, the oven. There are many appliances, dinner such table, such as uh, refrigerator, oven, and so on. Yeah. Teacher, refrigerator or fridge? Um, they're the same. Fridge is actually a new word, maybe uh, thirty or forty or fifty years old. And it's, just and it's just short for refrigerator. Okay. Because refrigerator is a hard word. It's hard for us. When I was when I was a kid, I hated this word. So much easier just to call it the fridge. Fridge. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's it. So we have the stove. Drawing room. Drawing room. I'm sorry. Drawing room. Drawing room. Drawing room. 
Um, we don't really have a room for it. Normally, in fact, in the U.S., we have a drying machine. We call it the dryer. And you just put the wet clothes in it. You push a button. It spins slowly with hot air. And it's so nice in the winter to put some pajamas in the dryer and then take them out and put them on immediately because they're warm and soft. Mm. But sometimes you just have a drying rack and you can put it anywhere. We keep ours in this room. Okay. All right. Um I would I would take you to show you my kitchen. But my wireless is not working today. <laughs> Next time, maybe. Next time. Some of you have been there already. Um Yeah, the refrigerator, the cold part of the refrigerator is the freezer. Right. The coffee maker. Mm -hmm. The most what important. About the, what about the less cold part? What is it called? The refrigerator or the fridge. Okay, the whole part is called refrigerator, and mm -hmm. only the cold part is called freezer. The freezer. Anything that goes below zero degrees is the freezer. To freeze is to turn to ice. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, so what is a counter? Uh, a counter is a flat place where you can make food. You can chop vegetables. Ah, oh, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like a table, but under you have the cabinets. Okay. A sort of. Uh, surface where you can work on the food. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Got it, thanks. Good. Um, and I think that's all. Are there any rooms I've forgotten? Dining room? Dining room, yes. Sometimes people have a separate dining room where they have a big table. And really nothing else. <laughs> and it's great. It's it's nice to have a room just for eating if you have a big house. Um, anything else? Kids' right. room. Basement. Kids' room. Kids' room is usually a bedroom. The basement. Or the cellar, that's the room under the house. Um, and at the top, yes, there's the attic. attic. Um, all right, well, what about outside of the house? For example, I have a small room just outside here where I can go outside and look down over the street. Balcony? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Balcony, some people call it a terrace. What if I was on the ground floor? What would that be called? Shelf or something. Mm -hmm. Shelf. A shelf is really like this is a bookshelf. Yes. yes. A shelf is. Uh, backyard. Um. No, the yard is the ground. But yard is is good. We were talking. That's. Um. That's next. But we would call that the porch. Do you mean an entrance? Entrance. Um, no, we, we you could call it the entrance and the room that connects the rooms 
is the hall, or the hallway, right? But I remember when it rained really hard in Tennessee, my mother and I used to sit on the porch. And it was covered, so we did not get wet. We would watch the trees and the wind and the rain. In my city, we have porches everywhere. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you pronounce the attic? Is it like cellar attic? Attic? Cellar and attic. Mm -hmm. The cellar is below, the attic is above. Attic. Cellar, attic. Okay. Um, and uh, which one is the balcony or terrace? Like a uh, small space adjacent to your room or something? Is it like that? Yeah, it's outside and it's above the ground. For example, I live on the fourth floor. Okay. And I have a balcony. Yeah, I, I got this. Mm. Mm -hmm. And and the porch is the highway. Oh, hallway. No, no, the porch is not the hallway. The hallway is inside the house, and it connects um, the different rooms. If I want to go to the kitchen or the bathroom or my bedroom, I must go through the hallway. Okay, and, and I couldn't get the porch. The porch is at the front or the back of the house. And it is the area outside. It's like a ground level balcony. Mm. No, it's still not clear about perch. Um, ground level balcony. Wait. Okay, do you guys see this? Yes. Ha, ah, that's wonderful. Um, my screen share is working now. Okay, so this is the bathroom. You see the this part in the behind the girl is the bath, and you cannot see it. But if water falls, it's the shower. Do you guys know what this is? A duck. Duck. We call it a rubber ducky. A water um, toy. It's a water toy. Well, because she's still a young girl. And this... Come on. In Italy, we call it Bucci. But... Bucci. We call it the toilet. Toilet. Mm -hmm. Alright. And what room is this young man in? Bedroom. Bedroom. So we have the bed, we have a window, we have a shelf for his toys, and of course he has a truck. All right. This room? Living room. Yes. Living room. Could be the living room. Or dining room. Could also be the dining room. Let's see. Yeah, they're thinking dining room. Because it really just has a table. A couple of windows, it has a cabinet. But no TV. No sofa, no couch. Let's see. This one? Kitchen. 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 And it has everything but the kitchen sink, which is actually an idiom for lots of stuff. For example, if I go on vacation with my girlfriend, and she has a huge bag with everything in it, say, my goodness, you've packed everything but the kitchen sink. Um, and this has 
literally everything but the kitchen sink, right? Has the oven, has the stove, has the cabinets. This is a counter. The orange part here, or brown, we would call that the kitchen counter. Okay, okay. Kitchen. And this. Yes. Living room. Living room. Easy, right? It has the TV in it. <laughs> and a small table with a lamp. But no sofa. I think every living room needs a couch or a sofa. All right. This is the hallway. I went down already. Um, but there's nothing in it except doors, right? Yes. It's a room that only connects rooms. Right. I have a small one. Yeah, we have a little hallway here. Right, where are they now? Garden. Oh. Or yards. They're in the yard, not in the garden. And this is a common mistake um, from speakers of several languages. Um, because in, for example, I think in German, um, they say Garten for yard. Like kindergarten, children's yard. Um, but a garden is where you grow flowers or maybe um, vegetables. And this is just the yard. And at the edge of the yard, do you see what this is? This is a fence. It's a fence. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, where are they now? Laundry. It looks like the laundry room, and it, it could be. Garage. Cellar, no. No. It's basement. the basement. And the basement. So, basement, cellar, often the laundry room is in the basement. It's where my grandparents have their laundry room. Um, this is for the hot water. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh. What is this? Garage. Mm -hmm. And how do we know that it is a garage? We have cars. Mm -hmm. It's a dead giveaway, right? Yes. <laughs> Often, the garage does look like the basement. With all kinds of things everywhere it's very common to have too much stuff in the garage and you cannot get two cars my parents have a garage this size but only one car can go in because they have all kinds of things okay what is this garden this is the garden you see all the flowers Mm -hmm. This is not the best garden picture. <laughs> um, we'll look at that in a minute. Okay, where is this girl? Porch. Fence. Mm -hmm. no. This is kind of a fence. We would call this a rail. But this is the porch. And you can see it's in the front of the house or the back of the house. And it's close to the ground, right? When it's very high, we call it a balcony. All right. And he's even farther. Where is he? Curb. Pavement. Mm -hmm. oh. This is this is all pavement. Sidewalk. This is the curb. Mm -hmm. Sidewalk. Sidewalk. The curb is where the sidewalk meets the road, right? Yes. Can it be called footpath? Footpath? Yep. Um, a footpath is a trail. Um, a trail that you walk on by foot. So when I think of a footpath, I think of walking through the woods. Um, 
I don't really think of a sidewalk. I think of outside of the city. Um, okay, where is this girl? Stairs. Mm, on the stairs. Or in the stairway. Mm -hmm. This girl? Front door. Front door. Front door. <laughs> I like her face. Where is she? Roof. Roof. She's on the roof. And if you were around for Christmas, you know that this is called the chimney. 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 It's where. S that's how Santa Claus gets in, right? Yeah. All right. The what is it called? Could you please say again? Chimney. Chimney. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the function of it? Um, if you have a fireplace um, and you are burning wood in your house, the smoke goes out the chimney. Okay. All right. And I'm going to give you guys, um, I'll post into the hangout, out. check. This is what we think of when we think of a garden. And all I did was I put the word garden into Google Images, and these are some really beautiful gardens, if you, if you take a minute and look. But you'll see they're all well cared for. They're planned. The tulips go here and the roses go there. <laughs> all right. Um, any questions so far? No. All right. Well, I want you guys, let's take a minute. Let's go around the room. And I want you to tell me what rooms you have in your house. Um, so I'll go first. In my house, um, we have a hallway. And off the hallway, there is a kitchen. There is a bathroom. There are two bedrooms. And my flatmates have this office that I use sometimes. What about you, Frank? Okay, in this flat, um, when you enter, uh, let's say that uh, living room and kitchen are the same place. Okay. But it's nice. I like a lot. And uh, on the right, I have a little room, balcony. Kitchen. On the right, a little balcony. And it is good for my wet clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, on the left, uh, I have uh, a little hallway, a little hallway, and um, from from it, I can go in the bathroom. Always on the uh, on the, but uh, that but it it is on the on the left too, and uh, okay. finally. <laughs> my bedroom very large and uh, I like this this flat very good all right let him in my house we have uh, three bedrooms a living room kitchen bathroom and uh, two balconies nice uh, what floor are you on uh, first floor first floor yes okay where you are is it the ground floor and then the first floor no no uh, the first floor you're on the ground floor yes okay I that's the American way to say it <laughs> um, but right now I live in Europe and so the first floor is the second floor Yes, because yes. they have the ground floor, the first floor, the second. 
and it's very confusing. <laughs> um, and and I ask them, what is the first floor you go into? And they say, the ground floor. And I say, why isn't that the first floor? And they say, because that's the next floor. But it's not for... Uh... And, and, and I am right, but they do not change. <laughs> yes, it's the same here. Yeah. Okay, Sajib. Yeah, hello. Um, hey. Yeah, I have a hallway uh, and uh, da a dining room, living room for my, for me and for my parents. Uh, there's another room, and for my younger brother, another room. So we've got three living rooms, one dining room. Uh, we got a very uh, big uh, balcony or terrace, mm -hmm. and um, and and kitchen, uh, toilet. Yeah, these are the things we have. <laughs> okay, um, where do you sleep? Uh, I live in my bedroom. Okay. Yes. Um, how many bedrooms do you have? Three. Three. Three okay. bedroom, one uh, dining room, and the other room we call living room or that that we call usually drawing room. I mean, uh, we don't live there. We have we have uh, couch or sofas out there, and uh, just mm -hmm. for decoration. I mean, we don't live in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, Sofian. Yes. What rooms do you have in your house or your apartment? We have three bedrooms, uh, a dining room, a kitchen, uh, two bathrooms, uh, roof, two balconies, mm, that's all. <laughs> okay. Is it easy to climb onto your roof? Yes, we have stairs. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you can go up on the roof and... I don't know, have a have a coffee and watch the sun come up in the morning. Yes. <laughs> nice. Um I I looked at some apartments with rooftop access and it's it's really nice when it's warm outside. Right now I would not want to go on the roof. <laughs> and Shinwei, what is in your house? I have found Three bedroom, a living room, a kitchen room, and a bathroom. My room is not. My room is limited. My room space is limited. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um. It's always the problem, especially in a city, is space is often limited. It's hard to find a good big bedroom. Um, all right. And now let's talk about furniture. Um, chairs, tables, desks. What is a desk? A put where you have your papers, your um, computers, uh, your office things like this. Yeah, uh, it's, it's where uh, you do your work. Exactly. So it's a like a table for working, and it usually has some drawers to put papers and things like this. It's usually where your computer goes. Um. So we have a desk, we have um, bookshelves, and regular shelves. We have chairs. Um, so I want to know um, what furniture you have in your house. Um, for example, we have a table in here. I have a desk. Um, we have lots of chairs. And we have a small table in the kitchen. And of course, I have a bed. What about you, Frank? Okay, 
I have a uh, um, big table and uh, four red chairs <laughs> and it, um, they are a bit strange but uh, <laughs> I, have, I have them for now and uh, I have um, two bookshelves correct mm -hmm. Book, bookshelves um, and then I have um, I have a furniture for uh, um, uh, a desktop computer desktop. I don't know the right word in English, but my computer mm -hmm. desktop stay in yeah, the furniture. A computer desk. A computer desk. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, a little sofa. Very important. <laughs> very important. <laughs> very important. And uh, a furniture where I where I I keep uh, food. Uh, I don't know the right word in English. Um, um like a food cabinet. Food cabinet, right? And um, two of them, and um, of course uh, a big bed in the bedroom. And uh, the big furniture where uh, we can keep our clothes, but I don't know the right, mm -hmm. the right term. Drying rack. Drying rack. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, another big uh, furniture where there is the TV and uh, many others of my books. Um, we call that an entertainment center. Entertainment center. Because it has your TV, your DVD player, your satellite box or your cable box or all these things go maybe some books, maybe some games if you have and, um, Monopoly. Last but not least <laughs> there is uh, my little furniture for my daily meditation mm, um, we, call it, we call it Butsudan <laughs> because I am a Buddhist. Ah, Buddhist. 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 Yes. Nice. Nice. Cool. All right. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Latim, uh, uh, I've clearly forgotten how to say your name properly. Can you remind me? Latim. Latim. Um, what do you have in your house? Well, I have a big table uh, in the kitchen. Library in the living room, mm -hmm. four or five beds, mm -hmm. two couches, and uh, table for my desktop uh, computer. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Some chairs. Some chairs. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. of course. All right. Good. Good. Sajib. Sajib. Yeah, hello. Uh, I have a, uh, I mean, I want to ask something, then I will uh, answer your question. Uh, you said ask drying away. rack. Uh, mm -hmm. is, is there an alternative name of this, this uh, furniture where we uh, keep our clothes? Probably. <laughs> what? Uh, probably. Um, I have always called it a drying rack. Uh, do you know a kind of furniture called wardrobe? I don't know if it is an English word or whatever. I don't know. Oh yeah, wardrobe would be where you. It's like a closet, like a cabinet for clothing. Uh, can you please uh, type me the word so I can get the proper spelling? Yeah. Wardrobe. Wardrobe. Okay. Yeah. And and uh, is wardrobe and drying rig totally different? Totally different. A wardrobe would be like this, like a closet, like a cabinet. Um, and a drying rack is just going to be um, somewhere to hang wet clothing. But if you put wet clothing in the wardrobe, it would not be very dry and it would smell really bad in about two days. Wardrobe, okay. So, yeah, we have several beds in the in our bedrooms. We have sofas or couch. We have wardrobes uh, 
and uh, we have bookshelves, the entertainment center, and my reading tables, my computers, a desktop, and the computer desk. And uh, yeah, I can really see anything. <laughs> I can remember <laughs> anything if I had another room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Good. Um, uh, Sarvar, how are you? Oh, sorry. Question. Can I talk? Yeah, go ahead, Shinwei. Well, you know, my bedroom is small. Mm -hmm. I put a lot of furniture in in it. Okay. I have a computer desk, a wardrobe, mm -hmm. a air condition, a armchair, and a big a and a big bed. bed. Sir. Yes. I tell you a secret. Yeah. I live in I live in Sichuan province. Mm -hmm. I stayed in Chengdu. But uh, most of but most of our people could uh, but most of our people do not have this chance to communicate with you. Right. Only me can talk mm -hmm. with you. I break through the Great Fire War. Mm -hmm. You know? I know. I have uh, friends in China. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. all. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Good. And Sarvar. Hi, teacher. Hey, how are you? I'm good. good. What furniture do you have in your house or your apartment? I live in an apartment. Mm -hmm. They are uh, close board, chair, laptops, table, chairs, sofa, bed, bed. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Did you say a surfboard? Uh, sorry? Uh, um, what did you say before bed? Uh, yes, bed. Bed. Okay. okay. Nice. Uh, do you have a sofa? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, that's what I heard. My connection is very bad today. I'm sorry. <laughs> sir. All right, good. Uh, yes, sir. Shinwei. Only five minutes is left. Mm -hmm. I, ha I have a question to ask you. Yeah. Could you give me some good advice to study your, co to study your courses? Um, just keep coming, keep asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> you are a good teacher. You are an excellent you. teacher. I, I, I try. Thank you, thank I will you. Take, I will take your class. Okay. If I have time. Mm -hmm. I will take your, your class. If I have time. If, if I come to China, you know I will come to Chengdu. I invite right. you to have hot pot. <laughs> it's very delicious. I know. Mm. Okay, Sajib, question. Yeah, the question is most important. House, it's free. Home mm. and apartment. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, between house and home. We often use house, or we often use. Home. So, which one actually means what? Yeah. Um, these are flexible terms. Um, you, uh, strictly speaking, 
a house is a small building where one family lives. But it's also where I live. For example, my girlfriend and I both live in apartments or flats. It's one building with many families, many groups living. But I will ask her, do you want to have dinner at my house or your house? So it kind of overlaps a little. Home is a word that has a feeling of belonging, of safety. Right? I feel at home. I feel safe. I feel comfortable. So, um, does that make sense? Yeah, okay, should we? That was the last question. Yeah, when last I question. Say, when I see, when I see some movies, a lot of American live in or live in or not live in a lonely building, but uh, most of Chinese people live live uh, I'm confused. It it depends on where in the U.S. you live, where in America your house is, because like China, America is really big, and people live in different kind of buildings in a big city like Chengdu than they do in the country. All right, guys, I have to go. I have to set up my next hangout, but I will be back in one minute with Business English. So, hello, teacher. Hope to see you guys there. Thank you. I bye will bye. be back with yep. you. See you soon. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you.